Hi, in this video I will show you how to convert YAML file to JavaScript file. Uh, this is my website, I will leave it in the description. And uh, to find app, I will type in a search. Um, to JavaScript, yep, this one. And to download app, I'll tap click on the download button. And click on the loaded archive. Double click on MSI to start the installation. Click on more info. Uh, I'm getting this screen because I'm not a registered publisher. You can see publisher unknown. I'll just click run anyway to start the installation. Click on next, next to install. Click on yes. And click on finish. And you can see app installed on my uh, computer and um, it's uh, a shortcut has been created on my desktop. I can close this and minimize this. Now I can launch app and uh, convert files. First, uh, in the first step, I have to select YAML file. I want to convert to JavaScript. I click um, on select input files and I want to show you uh, YAML files that I want to convert to JavaScript. Um, I can open with uh, just this notepad to sh just to show you. Basically, YAML is pretty weird format and it has all the hidden and dashes inside. But this YAML file it has all um, uh, U US states in it. And you can see, and every state has a name, state name, state code, history, region, sub region, and all 50 states in this file. Now, uh, yep, let's select this YAML file and click on open. So, um, you can see I have selected, I can select different file if I want it. I click on clear and then click again and select my file again, or, or a different file, it's okay. Now uh, click on next step after file selected, there is no options here yet, click on next step. Now I can preview JavaScript, uh, let's preview it. So it has uh, my data main variable which contains tables and which contains all data from YAML into data, because you probably have will have different file, so uh, YAML file. So everything inside under my data will be different for you because different fields and different um, because it all depends on structure of YAML file. And to save it, I can click save result and I can go out and. I can save it into my test JS. Let's save it. I already have it because I I, uh, I tested previous JavaScript. So let's save it into test JS. It will say, do you want to replace it? I'll click on yes, and yep, file will be overwritten. And test JS. Now I can go to this folder and open. Test.js into notepad. You can see this is a GS file with um, all uh, with my data variables in it. Now, if I want to test um, uh, this file, I create a different HTML file that will use this as um, um, I can show it to you what is inside. So in, inside, let's open test.js uh, script and access data into this way. We'll just alert my data tables, data, um, zero records, state name. So basically, it should display state name with um, in, in JavaScript. If I double click on it, now you can see it displays Alabama. So if I click on F12 
and in console I can type my data and I can type tables. As I'm saying, you, you probably will have a different uh, data under my table. But for example, if I uh, type my data hit enter, I can see all uh, data, all structure um, underneath it. I can see data and 50 records on data and you can see all states. All states are here. Um, because you may have a different YAML and um, you will have a different uh, JavaScript files that will represent your YAML file into JavaScript. But every time you type my data in console, print my data and hit enter, you will see you can browse all all data from from into this structure and you can see and find a way how to access your data and how to incorporate this JavaScript into your website. Yeah, basically that's it. Uh, please give it a try and let me know if it works for you. Thank you.